Hey, it's uh, Jeff Wade here with StockIdeas.org, and today I'm just going to do a quick uh, video book review of A Short History of Financial Euphoria uh, by John Kenneth Galbraith. And uh, a short history indeed. Uh, look at this book. It's only about 100 pages. Uh, I started reading it this morning, uh, finished it on the subway on the way home from work, um, and enjoyed every second of it. Uh, so definitely uh, recommend this book uh, if you have any interest at all in financial history uh, or the history of financial markets, uh, the history of bubbles, uh, this is definitely uh, the book for you. It's straight to the point um, and you know kind of communicates all the lessons in a concise and effective way. Um, in case you're not familiar with the author, um, John Kenneth Galbraith was uh, born, I think, in about 1896, uh, or sorry, 1908, uh, from Canada, um, and he uh, lived until 2006. This book was published in uh, 1990, and I think this is the 1993 edition. Um, so basically, the book uh, just kind of gives a preface about uh, bubbles and euphoria and financial markets, and then uh, it gives us a highlighted summary of uh, all of the major bubbles, so uh, starting with Tulip Mania, uh, to the South Sea Company, um, to the Mississippi uh, Sea Mississippi Company, uh, with John Law in France, um, obviously the 19, 1929 crash, I think the 1907 panic is in here, uh, 1987, uh, and some bumps along the way in the 1960s and 70s. Um, so I definitely uh, recommend checking this book out. Uh, the author kind of identifies, you know, what are the key features of financial euphoria. Um, one case of this time it's different. Uh, one case of leverage, uh, and one case of people thinking they're uh, really smart that they can get out ahead of time before the bubble pops. Uh, those are sort of uh, some of the commonalities of all these bubbles over the years. Um, this book is very reminiscent of, and I'm just trying to look on my bookshelf to see if I can find it. Um, is uh, Charles McKay's book, um, I forget what it's called, um, but I did a book review on it uh, on, uh, on stockideas.org, so you can check it out there. Um, and uh, my comment with McKay's book um, is, uh, I, think, uh, I think that one's called uh, Popular Del Delusions and Mass uh, Psychology, something, it's the same idea, uh, covering... Um, sort of historic uh, stock market bubbles and stuff in uh, p uh, periods of um, mass irrationality um, in history. And I think uh, this book is sort of like an introduction to that one. This is kind of like the Coles Notes version. Uh, so if you're just curious about uh, financial history or if you just want a refresher or the high points from a trusted source, uh, I definitely recommend uh, this book. Uh, if you want to go a little bit deeper into it all, um, and the kind of nuances and particularities of uh, each of the subsequent bubbles and of the popular delusions, um, I'd recommend uh, Charles McKay's book, and you can find that on stockideas.org. So uh, with that in mind, I encourage you to uh, click the link below this video, uh, and you can read a much more in-depth book review uh, to kind of see if uh, this book is the, the right one for you. Uh, from there, you can click through to Amazon, read the reviews there, and uh, you know, see if, uh, let me know in the comments if uh, you thought this book was interesting. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Please click to subscribe, uh, and I'll see you again soon for more book reviews. Thanks again.